In today's video, I'm going to show you my ultimate list of travel essentials to pack for any trip. But do not miss the important travel tips for some of these items throughout this video. It is a long packing list of essentials for any trip. I will show you my essentials so that you are not stressed when it's time to make your own packing list. I wanna help you not be overwhelmed before you start packing. Many of my viewers do not know where to start. In the first comment, you can download this ultimate packing list of travel essentials. You can refer back to this packing list for any trip you have coming up. Tripped Travel Gear is sponsoring this video again because of their high quality items for packing essentials. The Tripped brand has the highest quality and you get the most for your money. One way to organize your packing list is by breaking it into sections. You can organize your packing list by time of day or by item or by subject. First, my packing list starts with my airplane bag essentials. What bag am I going to be using mid-flight? Can I pack in a carry-on suitcase? What are the airline's rules for that size? Know that information before you make your packing list. Then, weeks ahead of time for your packing list, you can start with your personal item bag. In the very bottom of my backpack or my tote bag, I'm going to pack three tops, maybe some pairs of undies in a compression packing cube. A compression cube uses two zippers and it will compress the air so you do not even know those items are in the bottom of your bag but if your suitcase gets lost or you're stranded in an airport somewhere you have some clothing i have packed in only a carry-on suitcase for over 20 years flying standby as a pilot's wife so hopefully my expertise and my tips and tricks will help you when you arrive at the airport you will probably have a liquids bag one tip that I started using this past year is I will empty out my liquids bag and clip it into the closet of the hotel room so that I can just be more organized and be on vacation. You may want to add a toiletry kit and have it inside your personal item bag. For this reason, if you need to reapply a deodorant or some makeup mid-flight or before the end of the flight, it has easy access and the zippers are just smooth as butter. One tip is to look inside your personal item bag and figure out if you want to pack this flat or standing up to open up more space. The liquids bag and the toiletry kit comes with this tube cube. This is the pink version, but inside here you could pack your undies and socks or your swimsuit or your cover up for when you land. You could also fill it with hair ties or even just throw in your electronic cords. I also thought of some comfort items that would be in your personal item bag, like a neck pillow. I only use that for flights over five hours. You might wanna pack your travel blanket like I did, and I used that blanket as a pillow in our hotel because we only had two pillows, and I like holding one. The sunglasses case would also be on that part of the packing list, as well as a book, a journal, a pen if I'm taking it that trip. And I would also put my bag of medicine in my personal item bag in case they have checked my suitcase last minute because there's no more room for the in the overhead bins for my suitcase. I would also pack my important travel documentation like directions that I've printed out in case I don't get the Google Maps on my phone in that area. A packing essential for me is my eyeglass cleaner and I usually use Peeps. These are disposable kinds that come in a set of four that have been great. They're much cheaper than the real Peeps. But if you are traveling in the summer, I would use an eye cloth because that can clean your sunglasses and your reading glasses and not have oils on it, on your peeps, if that makes sense. It will also clean the suntan lotion off of your phone screen. In the airplane, you will need some technology. One tip is to pack part of it for your airplane ride inside one pouch and then pack another pouch for your suitcase to be used at the hotel. On my packing list, I have my personal item bag as well as my technology bag. And to me, that tip helps me not forget any of those essentials. 
So for the technology part of my packing list, I would start with my power bank for two reasons. Number one, if the rental car does not have enough USB or C cords, I would be set. And number two, if your flight is delayed, think like a five hour delay because of weather in the summer or not enough mechanics to fix the airplanes that are being used, um, you only have access to those few outlets in the middle of the boarding area for a hundred and something people. So have that power bank charged before you leave your house and pack it in your technology case. There are several types of electronic cord cases that I have. This is my Mac Daddy. If I am taking my laptop and most of my cords, I will pack in here. My husband has one for himself. So another technology brand is this one. I believe it's Travel On, but if you only pack a few cords, you may want to use this kind of a case for organizing. But remember my tip, and that is to figure out if you can pack it this way or this way in your suitcase or your personal item bag. Now here is my packing hack. When I charge my cell phone, I will put it on top of my bag that has the keys to the car for getting to the airport so that I will not forget the charger like I did one time. I also forgot my reading glasses one time and thankfully my husband had time to rush back here and get them for me. I wanna draw your attention to the extension. If you are going to an older house or renting somewhere that does not have a lot of outlets, you will need an extension cord because it has several outlets on it. Or if you are traveling with a CPAP machine in one of those hotel rooms because it's going, the outlet may be a long way away from your bed. Let us know if your uh, cruise ship allows extension cords. There's a new one that is like pocket size, which I think would be so easy to take on a river cruise or something like that. I wrote down my MagSafe uh, three-in-one charger. This is only for iPhone or Apple products and it is very expensive, but it's worth it to me. I found that some of the other chargers were not charging my phone fast enough. I added foam prop and that is for watching movies mid-flight. I can pack it flat, so that's why it is an essential for me. It is sturdy enough for iPads as well, if that would help you. But you might be thinking a phone prop is not technology. If that's the case, then write it under your personal item bag section. For the makeup section of your packing list, you would have to customize that for you. I wear a minimal amount of makeup usually. One tip that I can give you is to pack neutral colors and then one cheap or little palette with an accent color for if you really do feel like dressing up that night and adding some more depth to your makeup. One packing tip to save space is to pack the CC cream or the tinted moisturizer that has the foundation, moisturizer, and sunscreen in it. And that way you only pack one tube instead of three tubes. Remember that lip gloss and mascara are technically considered liquids. And one tip to help you know whether or not an item is a liquid is if it can hold its shape outside of the container, then it is a solid. If it needs that container, it is a liquid. My husband and I debate about Vaseline. I think it's a liquid, so I just pack it in my liquids bag, but he does not, so test it and see. And I know mascara, I've packed that in my regular pouch instead of my liquids bag several times, so I know they're not real picky about that. I also have a clothing section for you and I have ideas down there, but you may not need to pack all of those in one trip. You can pack less than you think you can and still have enough outfits for that vacation. Like for instance, in my carry-on suitcase, I packed 12 shirts in one side of my suitcase. Am I ever going to use 12 shirts? No, but that just shows you that if I pack one bottom piece and just four shirts maybe. Then I have four outfits plus the bottom pieces that I wore or the bottom piece that I wore inside the airplane. That makes eight outfits right there. So then choosing the shoes to wear is where you can get some strategic help. <laughs> and then you may wanna pack a raincoat. My tip is to pack a super thin, like paper thin one. I'll list mine in the first comment in case it's still available. But that way, if you have a winter coat or in the summer you don't need a coat, you haven't taken up a lot of space in your suitcase by packing a raincoat. 
I wrote all weather pants under clothing because if you're going to like Iceland or Alaska or something like that, where you might be in front of a waterfall that could get your leggings or your trousers wet, that's a good thin layer that would protect it from water. Or if you're touring Europe and it decides to rain again that day, you're covered, literally. <laughs> I also listed belt under clothing because I would say do not wear it into the airport. Have it in the outer pocket of your backpack or packed in your suitcase just for airport security because even in pre-check, they are making you take off your belt still. As an elementary school teacher, I know we all think and organize in our head in different ways. So you organize your packing list in the way that helps you. These travel essentials would be added to your packing list for different times of year. So I added them under the extras section. I like to pack a trash bag for two different reasons. Number one, for wet swimsuits at the end of a summer vacation. And number two, wet jeans or snow pants at the end of a winter ski trip. I add a valet tray or you can make one or just throw in a scrap piece of bright fabric. The thought is, is that if it's on the hotel counter or bedside table, you will not forget the contents in there. So a key card, your rental car key, um, jewelry, my hearing aid batteries, things like that. I am going to add soap sheets to it. They come in a set of four and each one has like 35 pieces in it. And here's what, when you need to pack this. We needed them, especially on our car trip, because some of the gas stations we went into did not have soap, and the soap that was in one of them did not even feel like soap, and you just add water to those. My umbrella is about five inches long, and I get it from DSW. It is so hard to find them online, and the lady at the checkout aisle said that as soon as they get them in, they sell out. So if you like the totes version and quality, I highly recommend that. I like this little light that our friend Jen suggested to us. It would attach to the zipper pull of your winter coat, or if you need a night light in your hotel room, although there are so many lights in hotel rooms now that are blinding, even with my eyes closed, there's this spider type of light. You charge it up, it will stay on the low setting or the high setting for 26 hours before you need to charge it again. There are many reasons why I added plastic baggies to my packing list. For instance, you can marinate chicken in a gallon bag and you can store leftovers. Sometimes a rental place does not have Tupperware for you to store leftovers in, but I have that whole video for you. You can pack a few sheets of aluminum foil to cook bacon. And then if you put the bacon grease in foil inside a bowl in the freezer, it'll become solid and you can just toss it out with the trash. I've also added my passport and a mask and a wallet to the extras section because sometimes I do not use those. I will use the slots maybe for cards. This RFID wallet is easy to slide in any type of bag, even if I'm not packing a purse, which was what I did for this trip. If you have large fingers, it's easy to slide the cards out of it as well. And it has this little clip. I also added an if lost return to piece of paper that you can pack inside your suitcase. My tip is to just keep it in there. One thing I always need is Kleenexes, so add tissues to your packing list. But remember, now even in pre-check, I could not have anything in my pockets this last weekend. I don't know why. I thought that was supposed to be one of the benefits. But um, Kleenexes, just keep them in your crossbody bag along with your wallet and your phone until you get through airport security. Another thing you may want to add to the packing list under extras is a jewelry case. If you do not like wearing jewelry, that's great. You can skip this part. I have like 16 earrings that I bought for on Amazon, but I'm not going to take this entire container. I'm only going to take a small case and then my roll up one, I usually just attach this section because it has some little protection to it and I'll put it inside a shoe or just pack it in a safe place. One essential that I have forgotten so many times is post-it notes and you use those to cover like the hotel room clock that is super light or the fire alarm light or the microwave light in your hotel room. 
I have a whole video about travel hacks too for hotel rooms that are is so helpful for you. I also added anti-itch ointment and then also bug spray. Let us know if you pack that or if you pack the little wipes that Off makes. And those would not have to go in your liquids bag, but the aerosol spray would need to go in your liquids bag. And then sunscreen, uh, take it from me, I spent $50 in Cancun because I thought, oh, I'll just buy it at the resort and just pay a little more. Wow, I did not realize that. You do not need to buy this popular thing that's on Amazon. It's way too bulky and it hardly holds any sunscreen. So just pack a regular tube. If you are running out of room in your liquids bag for because of sunscreen, use your kids or your husband's liquids bag. I also added Nasacort. I would add eye drops under medical perhaps. I also have a section on my packing list for hair. For hair tools, there's this new item that you can pack a curling iron and all of your hair tools in, and it unrolls so it has a heat protected mat for your curling iron, as well as when it's time to pack it. Since I only have a few of these items, I do not need that. One packing hack is to pack your hot curling iron in an oven mitt or a 100% cotton sock. My curling iron is 13.5 inches long and I believe this is 14 inches long. If you need space in your liquids bag and do not want to pack a bulky um, shampoo container, you can use the hotel shampoo or buy them when you get there, or you can pack a lush shampoo bar. We have a store, if you call them and tell them your scalp's needs, they will help you choose the right one. And then I just pack it in this air drying like waterproof bag you can pack your sticky wet shampoo bar in this bag and it airs it out but it does not let any of the water get on any of your other travel essentials if that makes sense it is a magical bag for health you may want to add your pills you may want to add over-the-counter medicine and vitamins because sometimes you're not going to take all three maybe. You may want to add earplugs or medical equipment like a CPAP machine or an extension cord maybe. I have this amazing pill organizer, but if you're looking to save space, there are also these little bags. I used one for my floss stick, and then I also used one for my makeup cleansing cloth that I traveled with recently. You get like 35 in a pack. In this pill organizer, I love that I can take out just one day if I'm going for a three-day trip and just throw that in. And one reason why I really like this one is if you have big fingers, it's easy to open each day's container, but it will not easily pop up or pop open if you throw it or if it gets jostled mid-flight, just so you know. Another hack that you could use for all of these little daily pill organizers is to take them out of the big container and pack them in little empty pockets of space or line a pocket of your backpack, for instance, with each day's container. All right, now moving on to toiletry specifically. I also pack mousse for my hair. You can also just buy a little mousse per trip if you do not have a specific one. If you are tight on space, I have these new containers that were fantastic and I tested them for you. you they're like the little Pac-Man with a little chef's hat on. But in the write-up, it says, do not let the seal get broken. So I kind of screw it on and then make sure it is like all the air is out. But it can squish. You can totally turn them inside out to clean them out. I packed my really watery shampoo in one of these containers because I knew this bag was going to be checked in the little airplane I had to fly in, which changes the pressure. And usually that's when something would leak or has a possibility to leak. And it did not leak in that. My favorite lotion is the Gold Bond for diabetics because as you will see in that container, packed in the belly of the airplane, my lotion did not budge in that container. It's so thick and it just, oh, it's the best lotion ever. If you do need to pack a lot of shampoo though, I only recommend the GoTo brand because they have this double locking system. The top screws on, but it also double clicks and has never leaked whatsoever on me. If you do need to know how much shampoo to pack for a five-day trip or a 10-day trip, 
do a test of it before your trip so you know how much actually needs to go into that container. One tip is that sometimes the travel size container is bigger than the actual container that you would need for that trip. So just think about those things when you're making your packing list. I love these little individual travel cases that come in a set for in, in pink for packing. I love the Mary Kay face cleansing wipes. They do not count as liquids. You can use any brand you like or pack your balm that removes your makeup. I use the balm and then also some soap. And then one of my friends I learned on my Nashville trip, she was wanting to take her entire disc of balm to remove her makeup and she could have easily just decanted it into a smaller container so it doesn't take up as much space in your liquids bag. Hand sanitizer, a fingernail file. I have to have a fingernail file and I love my travel case. I just use my own emery board instead of the glass one that it comes with, but you get a set of two and I have one for my everyday purse and one for my travel bags. Do not forget to put deodorant on your packing list as well as a razor if you need it for that trip. One tip is that you can pack those types of razors in your carry-on bags, but you cannot pack a straight blade razor. And you can also pack shaving cream in your carry-on bag. Just make sure it follows the liquids rule. I also put your nighttime skincare for a packing, part of the packing list under toiletries because I know exactly what I need for that or if I'm just going to use soap on that trip. I may not need to pack all of those items. I have several other videos that may help you if you are traveling this year, especially this summer, that I will put out down there with the packing list. So do not miss those and add any questions and any important travel essentials in the comments section below as well. Thanks for your time and I hope this helps. You can download my ultimate packing list from my blog. I will have it in the first comment below as well as in the paragraph right below this video.